Hello, this is Nevis and I'm uh, preparing a video tutorial on how to create a group on Skype. I'm actually on the Skype homepage. All I've done is clicked on the icon on my PC and it's opened up to the homepage. I can always open up to my own page, which is here, and it gives a de and it gives me a deta the details of who I am, my uh, Skype profile. So I'll just go back to the home page now. What I want to do is go, the, I want to create a group and I can create a group and then share the link with people that I even don't have on my contacts list. And that's the beauty of the Skype group. So I first thing I want to do is click on contacts and I'm just going to create a new group. And once I'm here, it'll ask me to add contacts straight away but first thing that I want to do is set up uh, this group so the first thing I'm going to do is edit the title and I'm going to call it and then click on save at that point there I have a link up here zero participants I can actually change the image which I can show you in a minute the reason why I'm starting or showing this video is uh, in relation to Stefan Hughes, his group on Twitter, his group of followers on Twitter or some uh, group of teachers that are interested in using Skype groups to communicate and share their uh, knowledge as teachers and collaborators online. This uh, particular group that I'm creating today is being created specifically for Stefan Hughes and his group of teachers that are interested in using Skype, specifically a Skype group to communicate and share their teaching ideas and learn from each other. So what I've done here is showing these teachers in particular how to set up a group. Now I've set up the group here and it's it's telling me the conversation is all set up. I can share photos and much more with everyone here. I can make um, the group public simply by copying this link here and sharing it with um, uh, for example on the Twitter feed but I don't need necessarily want to do that at the moment this is going to be a private group so I will actually share that link with the teachers within the message group on Twitter where a dozen or just over a dozen teachers there that are willing to use this then I can manage the settings of the conversation here and it will ask me to notify me when something new happens, make the chat hit history available to everyone. And I want to do that for two simple reasons, that if people are going to be sharing links or information and just say they missed out on the earlier part and they've just joined or they want to go back and have a look, then they do need um, to have that history available make the link for anyone to join and that's what we do want we want to be able to make sure that not just the people in our context list will join but the people that do have that link specifically we can change the picture here so by clicking on it and now uh, these are only pictures of me at the moment let's just um, choose that one for the moment and you can create your very own image to go which I'll do probably in a mo moment but anyway just leave that for the moment just to show you how easy it is and we're just now going to close that so we have the group profile now there's the image showing up showing up we have zero participants and that's not a problem we can rename the conversation at any time so I can go and change that now that I have it and I've copied the link I'll just copy it again I can share that immediately with my um, group on in this case Twitter so hopefully that was easy to understand if not just let me know drop me a line and I can um, improve feedback always helps to improve thank you for listening